Hi, welcome to Ivan Worse, and today I'm doing El Bandito. To, oh, fuck, just. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Ivan Worse. I'm doing Aldi's El Bandido. Yes, no tea in it, like no. I've been putting in. No. Okay, El Bandido. Um, it's their tequila flavoured beer. Uh, and I do like a tequila flavoured beer. Um, I like Desperado. I like Sombrero. Amigo. I just like them all. They're not bad. Um, easy drinking. Um, mm. And I know a lot of people out there consider them to be sort of down the trashier end of the brewing market. Uh, and this, But I like them. I enjoy them. And this is from the guy who slags off WKD. So, hypocrite? Yeah. Um, that WKD video is uh, that I did, the WKD Blue, um, very controversial. Uh, I have received uh, a number of really off-colour uh, comments that I have removed because uh, Effin and Jeffin they were uh, because I've insulted their drink. Um, as with any of my my reviews, these are just my opinions. Um, if I don't like something that you drink, well, that's me and not you. Um, yeah, and some people don't get a parody or when something's been done tongue in cheek. <sighs> Never mind. Shall I open it? So this is from Aldi. It's a five point nine. Uh, tequila flavor beer. It comes in a 330ml um, and I was going to sort of drink it out the bottle but I decided to put it in my uh, flavorly oh, slop into that I thought I was going to get it all for. <laughs> I'm the world's worst uh, barman. I'll just uh, let that settle and come back to that. <laughs> okay so we've got a typical Lager style beer. Actually, quite tight bubbles on the head. Can't slop it around too much. Mm. So, some of the others have a, a quite a distinctive aroma. And first impression, this is metallic. So, um, it's copper coins. Okay. So there's that. This is really similar to Desperado. The tequila flavorings they use um, give it a sort of almost like a marmalade um, taste to it, or they do, you know, on my palate. Um, it doesn't say anything on the back. Just said tequila flavored beer, so it's not like a beer with tequila added, or if it is, it is not telling me that. Um, it says brewed uh, for Aldi, so it doesn't tell me where it's brewed. I think uh, the last Desperado I brewed was brewed in the Netherlands. Um, mm. So, what do I think of this? I don't think it's just, it's got a sweet edge to the back. There's hardly any bitterness. That metallic taste is there on the palate. Let's give this a good chug and see what I get. That's gone now. So, Not much bitterness, a, little, a faint bit of biscuity maltness on the back end, but it's, it is a slight sweet edge to it. It reminds me, um, I should say, they all remind me uh, of Lager Top. Um, sort of, I started my drinking in sort of the mid 80s, a little bit before then, but as far as my parents are concerned, in the mid 80s. Um, and you go, you know, get a, a lager and, you know, splash a lemonade in it. Um, and that's what it tastes like. So not unpleasant. Is it better than Desperado? No. It's close, but not quite there. But not bad. Um, I can't remember. I think this was, I want to say three ninety nine for three bottles. Comes in a little pack of three. Um, 
so it's going to be around that price, I think. Is that right, Madam Director? Just having a quick look. Just, we should, might have a cut here. So, sorry, I can't find the receipt. So, but it's 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 around the sort of three pound mark. Um, I'll put it down in the description. Uh, for, forgive me. Um, so I'll put it down in the description. So yeah, so it's it's on a par with Desperado, but not as good. Um, if this is your thing, give it a go. Um, let me know in the comments um, if you like this type of thing. If you hate this type of thing, uh, I'd be really interested uh, to uh, to hear what you've got to say about it. Cheers.